Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. Let's look today, real quick, at using external data to get repeater information into the programmer without having to type things one at the time. I happen to be in the UVS9 programmer. This process works the same in all the programmers. And we'll start at File, External Data, and today we're going to use repeater book search. It comes up in once a location. You can enter a zip code, a city, city and state, um, 35544, and go about 50 miles around it. Your radius around it, if you're doing this for traveling, you might want to do five or less. Think about driving down the road, how far out you're going to hit repeaters from where you are. If you're at home and stay at home most of the time, you might want to do 10, 15 miles, depending on how big your antenna is. If you're mobile a lot around town, maybe you want to do 50, 60 miles. So you get everything around town, because depending on where you are in town will be what you'll be able to hit. So we'll do 50 miles. I'm going to do 2 meters and 440 for this one and tell it OK. What has returned here is a page that is not a radio programmer. This is a return so you can see, did I type the zip code right? Did I get the return I was expecting? Did I type the name of the city right? but I'm in a different state. This wasn't what I wanted. So you can size it up. We'll size it up based on the city and we've got Alabama and Mississippi for that 50 miles around that zip code. That was what I was looking for. But what's interesting here are these boxes right down here at the bottom. This one especially. I can take out my Fusion, I can take out my D-Star, I can take out my DMR without having to hunt for them in the list. I'm going to leave the name. Remember, names are usually four, six characters. Check your radio. If it's a 16-character radio, city is a very appropriate name. But for most of them, and I know this radio has a real short alphanumeric display, I'm going to leave it on call sign. But in comment, I want to put city. And I'm going to show you why here in a minute. Now I'm going to create my programming file. Just that quick and easy, there it is. This is ready to go to the radio with the names, with the tones, tone values are set up. But everything's in numerical order. Let's go edit, sort. Remember I told you to leave those cities in the comment? Well, we're going to sort by comment. We're going to sort all channels and we're going to tell it OK. Now I've got Aberdeen together, I've got Boonville together, I have Columbus together, Fayetteville together, Jasper together, Moulton together. So now when I'm in Starkville, I've got the three Starkville repeaters right here together. So when I'm turning the knob listening, I don't have to go through a hundred selections and wonder where they are. This is now ready for communications, send data to radio, follow the steps on the screen, and your radio will be all programmed up. If this is something you want to save permanently, file, save as, and this is a repeater search, and whatever you want to name it is appropriate. And now it's permanent, and it'll be there the next time you open your programmer. And I only got to 56, so I could go again out of repeater book to another spot 
and add some more to this file if I wanted to. Always remember settings, radio menu settings. If you want to see frequencies on this radio instead of names, you just set it right here, just that quick and easy. Close, apply changes and close. That's saved up and ready to go to the radio. But you are in control. We're not going to run off and just make changes to your radio without you knowing. We don't talk to that radio until you do communications, get data from, send data to. Plain English, you know what's going where. If you need us, you can find us Monday through Friday, Saturday by appointment. Give us a call. We'll be glad to help. And always remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.